Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey friend, just a quick five minute quickie that I just wanted to share something personal with you. It may inspire you to do something similar or may get you just to think of something in a different way, a little deeper way. And it is pretty simple, but it's pretty profound. It was certainly profound to me. If that's interesting or interesting to you, just have a listen now. Because the thing is, as you know, I I write in my journal, my journal every morning. It's part of my morning ritual. Take the dog for a walk, come back, sit down, nice cup of coffee, put some nice deep focusing music on and just write. And I like to just let the pen write and actually say to myself as I'm writing, you know, what would you like to say to me? Talking to, to I guess, my unconscious mind. That's what I like to think, my best friend. And today was a little different because the sun shines out. And I went and sat outside in the sun. Such a lovely experience to sit with your cup of coffee. Yeah, same music. Lovely. I'd write with a fountain pen because I love a fountain pen. And I got my journal. And I started just to write general things. Things about what I was happy about yesterday. And happy about working with a client that I did. And got such a wonderful result with. Really enjoyed it. And it just flowed. There was no th thought behind what I did. Well, there was, obviously, at the time. But it was as if those thoughts just flowed. And I, I was just flowing in my with my therapist hound. My hypnotist hound. And then I also did a webinar, a Q&A webinar, which, again, just seemed to flow. The preparation for it just seemed to, well, it just came to me. And it was just, an, uh, just a simple way of, of being. And, and it was just a nice place to be. And I guess the people who were listening got it too, because I got some really nice replies and, and chat about it. And then as I was writing this, and I was just wondering, you know, it took me back inside a little bit. Because as I was writing the journal in the sun, it took me back to my quiet place. Quiet place that I used to have in, in a lovely garden where I would sit in all weathers. Didn't matter whether it was raining, snowing, cold and windy. It was slightly covered so I could get my cup of coffee, get my music and write. And it just, just that sunshine and the journal just took me back just anchored me back into that very simple time of no one around and just writing from my heart to my heart. And as I was doing this, I got this funny little feeling in just to the left of my, my stomach. Now, I've had a feeling like that before, but not it wasn't the same. Before, it was like a feeling of, of worry, anxiety. And I used to work with it in different ways. But this time, it was in nearly the same place. I haven't got that big a belly, so it's, well, maybe. But it was around about the same place. But it was slightly different. And I just wrote, maybe this feeling wants to be explored. Because it's here, isn't it? And it wasn't here when I started. And to me, that's a signal from my unconscious mind that there's a part of me that wants to be heard wants to be listened to, wants to be with, made aware of. So I thought, well, I'm just going to stop writing. Let's just do it. I actually wrote in my diary. Okay, let's do it. Hang on, we'll, we'll be back in a minute. And I just sat, closed my eyes, and just put all my attention into that feeling. That was it, just sitting there. I'm just asking the question, you know, what, what do you want to say? What are you here for? What do you want me to learn? I'm so curious. And that was the thing. I just remembered this. Before I started, I just put myself into really being curious to find a wonderful result. Just being curious. Comfortable and curious. And I felt so good. As, so when I closed my eyes, it was as if I was just 
sucked into that little place to become made aware of. And it was quite strange because then as I was trying to focus and become aware of that feeling, little memories kept coming into my, into my mind, into the forefront of my mind. And they were just like little flashes of memories. So not anything I could really grasp hold of, but they were just of simple times when I was like in that flow. And it was, my thought went to things like, well, and I wrote them down when I came back because I had to record it, you see. I had to get it out. And it was thoughts of just letting things happen. Just looking for enjoyment in the simple things, making things simple. And that was what I was, those pictures in my mind. Some were for memories, some were for things in the future. And over the last few weeks, I have been really thinking of so many different things, worrying about a few things. And this just suddenly brought home to me, you don't need to. Just look for enjoyment in simple things. Make things simple. And I wrote to myself, what wonders could I experience if I did? Just allow things to be simple. And then I thought, well, what, are, what was that mantra that we use here? Good old Albie Einstein. In simplicity, there's genius. And I have said that I don't know how many hundreds of times. And I know it resonates with me. But it didn't resonate as much as it did just then when I wrote it down. And so I thought to myself, I wonder when I'll listen to me. Having said that for so many times, just stop and pause. And just give up the fretting and look for the simple things. Because you could have joy. You can find joy in simple things. Joy, I guess, isn't supposed to be complicated. It's just there. And you can find joy in simple thing. And there. That's how it's so easy to just let it come. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. It was a thought from my journal. And I wondered whether you too, if you've been fretting a little bit, maybe you've got that little feeling inside like I had that is trying to tell you just be quiet and just look for the simple things. There you go. Well, that's it from me. I hope this personal sharing is going to find its way into your heart and the parts of you that want to be listened to. And you listen to them because all you have to do is listen with your senses, all your senses, and get out of the bloody way. And then you can really become aligned with yourself. There you go. Have more fun than you can stand. And when the next flash of the bleeding obvious comes to me, I'll share it with you too. You can always share yours by email. I'll say that again. Email me, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. And while you're at it, why not join up for those hypnosis tracks? Go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast and just have a look around that site as well. Paul Clough Online, see those? Well, it's paulcloughonline.com. And have a look at those programs. They're simple too when I look at them. And they they come from my heart. So anyway, that's it. Don't get too soppy. Have more fun than you can stand and just surprise yourself by not only just being happy for no reason, but finding happiness in simple things. Bye-bye now. Warning, you are now leaving unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.